Hello, my wonderful wine marketers. Today, we're taking a walk through Lux Pack Monaco 2023. I'll talk through 12 ways that packaging is a function of marketing, not just design. I'll share with you my three top takeaways from Lux Pack, and I'll offer actionable advice that you can start implementing today. So let's get into it. Lux Pack is recognized as the premier trade show dedicated to creative packaging. It provides a platform for discovering the latest innovations and trends within the premium packaging industry across various sectors, including cosmetics, perfumes, fine food, fashion, wine, and spirits. It brings in creative packaging manufacturers from more than 30 countries worldwide. The trade show typically spans a few days and is hosted at the Grimaldi Forum in Monaco, where design, environmental considerations, and digital innovation are emphasized in the context of packaging. Don't get me started on Monaco. As you know, I'm a marketer, not a packaging expert, but my team at Five Forest spends a considerable amount of time working with our clients to help them use their packaging as a function of smarter marketing and not waste money on shit that doesn't matter or worse, enrages their audiences. Before we dive into Lux Pack, I wanna quickly run you through 12 ways that packaging can function within the broader scope of marketing. Brand identity and recognition. Packaging is often the first physical interaction that a consumer has with your brand. Through colors, logos, and design elements, packaging reinforces your identity and aids in building recognition in the marketplace. As a communication tool, packaging communicates essential information about the product, its benefits, and its uses. Well-designed packaging can also convey your brand's values, such as sustainability or luxury, through material choices and design aesthetics. Consumer acquisition and decision influence. Packaging plays a pivotal role in attracting customers and influencing their decision to buy your product over someone else's. Unique, eye-catching packaging can entice customers to try a product, while clear, informative labeling can help them understand its benefits. Competitive differentiation. In a crowded marketplace, such as wine, distinctive packaging can set your brand apart from your competitors. This differentiation is crucial for gaining a competitive advantage and appealing to your target audience. Promotion. Packaging can serve as a promotional tool. For instance, limited edition packaging can create a sense of urgency. QR codes or other interactive elements can engage consumers in promotional activities. Sustainability messaging. As consumers become more and more eco-conscious, sustainable packaging can communicate your brand's commitment to environmental responsibility, aligning with your marketing messages about sustainability and proving impact and dedication. Customer loyalty. Consistent high quality packaging can enhance customer satisfaction and loyalty. When consumers have a positive unboxing experience, it fosters a favorable perception of the brand, encouraging repeat purchases. Cost efficiency. Efficient packaging design can reduce material and shipping costs, aligning with your marketing goals of managing budgets effectively while delivering a great product experience. Market positioning. Packaging reflects the market positioning of your brand, whether it's a luxury item, an eco-friendly choice, or an everyday approachable or budget-friendly option. The design and quality of packaging reinforces the brand's position in the consumer's mind. It's a feedback loop. By incorporating feedback mechanisms such as QR codes leading to landing pages or review pages, packaging can serve as a channel for gathering consumer feedback, which is invaluable for marketing analysis and strategy refinement. And last but not least, cross-selling and upselling. Packaging can also aid in cross-selling by featuring other products or offers from within your brand thus enhancing your overall sales strategy. In short, your marketing stakeholders need to sit side by side with your designers, and designers need to understand that their job is more than just pixels and Pantone colors. By mindfully aligning your packaging strategies with your marketing objectives, brands can create a cohesive, engaging, and informative experience that resonates with consumers and supports business goals. If you are a wine marketer, I want you to feel empowered to be a part of the packaging design process. Don't let them push you away from that design table. All right, marketing theory out of the way. Let's jump into Lux Pack Monaco. 
While there are innumerable insights to be had, three things jumped out at me as opportunities for future thinking wine brands. Here goes. Color. So much color. Lux Pack was nothing short of a visual feast. Think beauty, fashion, homeware. The world outside our wine sector is reveling in a color bonanza. Alas, our wonderful little industry is often risk averse when it comes to breaking free from color norms. Bottle glass, labels, capsules, carry bags, packing, shippers. New technologies are making it possible for non-collectible wines to stand out from the crowd, jumping off the shelf. And it's not merely an aesthetic endeavor. It's a chance to resonate with our customers' emotions, reflect their aspirations, and rekindle the excitement every time they hold your product in their hands. I saw a lot of sustainability messaging, but not a lot of measurables. Wandering Lux Pack, I saw dozens of billboards, videos, PowerPoint presentations, backdrops, voicing messages of circular economy, sustainability, environmental responsibility. But it seemed as though there were very few exhibitors who were able to convert those messages into clear metrics that could be shared with B2B customers and from B2B customers to their audiences. A couple companies did stand out. One was GBGT Box, a rigid box producer out of Sweden. They provide each of their customers with clear carbon accounting based on everything from materials and transport to how many employees ride their bike to work each day. This is a boon for a brand who's seeking to demonstrate tangible efforts to consumers or certifiers. The other, and I admit to a little hometown bias here, is the Barcelona-based Estal. Their wild glass range uses up to 100% recycled glass in the production process and defects are accepted. The range does not discard bottles with aesthetic imperfections, reducing the impact caused by discards. With this range, Estal has turned the bugs of 100% post-consumer recycled glass into a compelling feature that transmits brand values to the consumer. As a marketer, for me, the ability to prove sustainability claims is not merely competitive advantage, but an absolute must. At a time when greenwashing is all too common, lead your sustainability story with real numbers and visible impact. Where was the e-commerce? In an era where e-commerce is rapidly reshaping the retail landscape, I couldn't help but notice a conspicuous absence of innovative packaging for online sellers. So to put that into context, the journey of a product from retailer to consumer in the e-commerce conduit demands a packaging consumer that not only reps the brand's essence, but also ensures the product arrives in perfect condition. This is something we deal with all the time. Temperature control, recyclability, reusability, compostability, unboxing, excess packaging, and so on. Sadly, my quest for a holistic packaging solution, that being something like an external shipper that melds brand ethics, durability, and e-commerce functionality, remains unfulfilled. I think there's a clear call to action here. We need packaging solutions that cater to the e-commerce journey, and those solutions need to be accessible and affordable to the average Joe, not just high-end luxury sellers. If you have examples of great e-com packaging, drop a comment. The floor is open for insights, suggestions, and examples of how we can steer packaging toward a more e-commerce-centric paradigm. How does all of this translate into real-world wine business? Here's the advice I'll be sharing with our clients post Lux Pack: Create a shared mood board. Whether it's Pinterest, Dropbox, or a old school pin board in your office. The job is too big for one person and we all engage with packaging every day. Make a space where every stakeholder can share and save packaging solutions that they think can work for your brand. Don't be afraid to try new things. Color, material, shape. There are a lot of wine brands out there. How will yours stand out? Test before you invest. There's nothing worse than having thousands of pieces of off-brand, unsustainable, or just plain ill-suited packaging that you feel like you have to use because you've spent the money on it. Before you spin, head out to a trade show, send out for samples, ask as many questions as you need, then get some real-world feedback. You'll hear me say this time and again, but tasting rooms are the best ever user testing you'll get. Pull aside a few regulars, and ask for their feedback. Most people are happy to oblige. Don't communicate what you can't demonstrate. 
make sure that you can substantiate all sustainability claims with tangible evidence. Everything needs to serve more than one purpose. Aim for packaging solutions that are both aesthetically pleasing and functionally effective, catering to the brand narrative and logistical requirements. And I have one bonus insight for the marketers in the room. <sighs> Deep breath. Give yourself enough time. Demand a seat at the design table, even if you have to fight for it, and make sure that resources and expectations align. Luxpack was overwhelming. The process of perfecting your packaging may be overwhelming. Having been through it with clients, I see just how many hours it takes and how frustrating it can be. But that also means that many of your competitors won't put in the work, and that's an opportunity for you to kick ass. There you go. That's my recap of Lux Pack Monaco 2023. If you've been, or if you have thoughts, questions, or feedback, drop them in the comments. Be sure to like and subscribe. And I'll be back here next week with more smart marketing for growing wineries.